This video contains spoilers for Bioshock. Be warned. Also, uh, jokes. Lots of jokes. All jokes. Take nothing I say seriously. This is viewer, viewer discretion advised. We have made it to the medical pavilion where we have vending machines. I love spending government funds for personal gain and learn how to hack stuff like drones and hacking is puzzles. Fuck my life. But after, we can access the lever. And uh, we need a key from a man named Steinman. But you know what? We did get Tommy. Gun in the process. <laughs> Gun go. Now Steinman is an asshole. Not only because he has the key that is preventing us from leaving, and that really annoys me, but he also has a twisted sense of beauty. As we walk into the wing, we realize that, to him, aesthetics are a necessity for life. I'm really glad I don't live in Ohio. Steinman has set up shop in the surgery wing. After heading to the surgery wing, we realize there is debris blocking the way. Curse you, stupid fucking rocks, for hindering me so. We also realize we need some things to progress. One being, uh, telecanoodles. Or... Kinesis. If you're fucking boring, you shut the fuck up. Where doth we find such a thing? Who knows? Well, uh, fire is always an option. Welcome to, uh... Stealth is now in the game. We must not be caught on film. If we are spotted by the film industry, they will send the paparazzi. You will not enjoy it. After dodging the modern film industry, we crawl into a, a, a room where we find uh, Incinerate, aka Fire. <laughs> Shit, they found me. Oh wait, I'm a One Piece character now. Fire! Snoopy! I enjoy <laughs> crispy bodies. Get fucked, you stupid pieces of shit. And then I realized that stealth was optional. <laughs> Can I have just... Bruh. But, uh, we must move forward and progress. And as we head into the basement, we meet a shotgun. And, oh. Can somebody turn the lights back on? Thank you, game. After killing the masses with, with a handicap, we trudge forth in hopes to find something. But this time with oh, Mr. 12 Gauge Shotgun. Mr. Shotgun does not appreciate people not admiring him for his nice crevasses and chambers. Regardless, he will help us. And that is because we own him now. And everyone knows not to disrespect the master. Now go work the field. But then, when some hope was lost, we found it. The Tella Canoodles. Now with telecanoodles, we can go back and end the escapade of uh, Dr. Perfect's rampage. And after blowing up the door, we meet a disabled corpse. But just so it doesn't come back to murder me in my sleep. And although we don't need more evidence of the doctor being crazy as shit, we learn that he has quote unquote Talk to a goddess about symmetry. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he held a grudge against people with Down syndrome. I mean, he'd have to do more than just fix their face. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's horrible. But nonetheless, we must progress. I don't think this guy is mentally okay. What can I, else? I do with this one, Aphrodite? Sir. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. Okay, so he is clinically insane. <laughs> we have finally met Steinman, and he is not okay. He has one attack called Tommy Gun. An attack we know very well. But you know what they say. 
Fire is hot. Don't burn yourself. Burn your enemy, because they probably deserve it. After inflicting copious amounts of pain on him, we can finally grab his key and we can leave and head back to the lever. And while on the other uh, skywalk, we get uh, flashbacks. These show us about our life before the incident, being the plane crash. <laughs> and with the main exit being under construction, we must take a detour. Damn, bro. Someone's been working out. Okay, moral dilemma. Choice time. We can either eat the children or gently caress them on the head. It is <laughs> canon that we do not eat the children. <laughs> so, I guess we're saving them. Uh, uh, child, please. We got some Adam from the kid, even for saying, saving them, so I guess it's not that bad. We can spend Adam for upgrades like health or plasmids or other shit that I really do not give a shit unless it's health, in which case I need more. And after we're done, we leave to continue our request. Until we run into a big daddy and get absolutely fucked. You fucker. You fucker. And you know, I think I probably should have learned my lesson here, but uh, I was not done. So I went back. And you know what's better than getting railed in the ass by a big daddy? Getting fucked again by the same one. <laughs> Why? But then I triumphed and got <laughs> Adam from the child. Uh, until another one showed up. <laughs> I, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not dealing with another one. But now we head back, we turn the lever, and we can finally leave the medical pavilion. Poor Neptune. Ah, oh, 